As revealed in Minicon Madness, Starscream managed to survive his encounter with the Predacons by, strategically, luring them by serendipity. He stumbled upon a weapons cache with enough power to damage Skylinks and Darksteel. Starscream then explored the fortress and found the laboratory where the Decepticons had bred the weaponizer Minicons and sought to use them to take revenge on Megatron for his cruel acts towards him. Starscream then reformatted himself to his old body type, before he freed the Minicons but they managed to escape him. The Autobots believed Starscream to be dead following his encounter with the Predacons, but he was remembered as a dangerous Decepticon in the records of the war. In More Than Meets the Eye, after Bumblebee had helped save the universe, from Starscream, Megatron, and Dark Energon, Bumblebee refused to be defeated by Bisk. In WWOD, when Bumblebee attempted to inspire his team with an Optimus Prime impression, Sideswipe instead believed Bumblebee to be going for a bad Starscream. As revealed in Mighty Big Trouble, Starscream's hunt for the weaponizer Minicons made him hire Shadelock, Rough Edge, and Razorhorn to procure them. His hunt forced the Minicons off Cybertron and led them to joining a group of scavengers as shown in History Lessons. In Pretzel Logic, Starscream tracked them down to planet Earth, where Shadelock found Triceroshot. Starscream ordered him to follow the Minicon to lead them to the remainder of them. In Mighty Big Trouble, Starscream had finally tracked the Minicons to a human ship, missing them by seconds. There he found the Scavengers and the Dark Star Saber. He immediately claimed the weapon as his own intending to use it for conquest before he noted that it seemed to be operating at less than full power. Nonetheless, Starscream still desired the Minicons and ordered his minions to track them and bring them to him. His minions brought him the wrong Minicons. One of them accidentally revealed Bumblebee was back on Earth and Starscream was able to take the yellow Autobot prisoner by threatening the Minicons. In Minicon Madness, when Bumblebee was aboard, Starscream gloated about his good fortune before the Autobot escaped only to be quickly recaptured. With his captive now in stasis cuffs, Starscream monologues about his cunning escape from the Predacons by indirectly killing them with a bunch of weapons in the fortress his own plan to use the weaponizer Minicons and getting the Dark Star Saber as his weapon to not only kill Megatron but to conquer the galaxy with. He then resumed scanning for his little doomsday devices, before Bumblebee began taunting him that no one, not even the Dark Star Saber, took him seriously. Starscream swore that everyone would take him seriously, aiming the cursed blade at Bumblebee's throat. A nearby battle between Autobots and Scavengers caught his attention where he used his ship's tractor beam to abduct the weaponizer Minicons before flying off and gloating to Bumblebee of his imminent victory. In Worthy, it turned out he only had six of the seven Minicons needed, which proved in an attempt at merging resulted in failure. Luckily the last Minicon needed turned up at his ship with the Autobots, and he was able to obtain him by knocking everyone out with the Dark Star Saber. He successfully merged with the Minicons, only to lose Aerobolt thanks to a signal initiated from the ship by Fixit. Starscream managed to fly clear of the ship and engage Optimus and Aerobolt, now merged, in combat until the Autobots succeeded in dragging him back into range of the signal. Separated from the Minicons, Starscream fell unconscious and was loaded about Optimus's ship.